guys, welcome to another episode of Heavy Radio FM Radio Show. I'm your host, Heavy Face, along with my two co-hosts, uh, Saber. Hello. And Yuri. Hi. Alright, and today, uh, alright, I'm fucking with you guys. Alright, today, how much do you guys know of our favorite co-hosts, huh? How much do we know? How much do I know? Well, all your questions will be answered today, because I'm going to interview these two. What the fuck was that? I Who just got that? an Amber... I got an Amber Alert. Oh. <laughs> oh, shit! Oh, no! Don't worry, I had nothing to do with it this time. This time?! <laughs> this time?! <laughs> You're just oops. This time?! <laughs> Oh that's my not, god, R- rich people with their headphones on. There's no oof for this one. This is more like a fucking Mario 64 oof, like oof! Oh man, that was like spot on. Like, like, cause for my end, he's still got a little bit of that like audio static. Not static, like... I guess like, you know, when you hear, would listen to like an old... To an old show from the 90s and the way the audio is recorded, you hear that like... All the the compression and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Like, are you calling me a end, JPEG? There's a lo- <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of compression coming from your end, uh, from what I can hear, and like you sounded like the actual Mario oof because of the compression. <laughs> Fuck. All right. Anyway, uh, <laughs> enough of that. I'm gonna interview Yuri and Saber because they're still a mystery, and we haven't even done a proper introduction. You guys know me enough from Sad AM. But how much do we know of these two fucks? So, all right, uh, I gotta flip a coin. So who can start first? Uh, who wants heads? Who wants tails? Head. Tails. All right, saber, Ooh. saber heads. Yuri's tail. Tails. Sweet. All right. All right, Yuri, you're first. Fun, fun, fun. You know, as they say, ladies first. Tip of the fedora. One, two, three. Oh. Oh. Which goes into my next, this goes into the first question then. So you're pretty out there on Twitter, you know. You're, uh, you know a bit about the social problems and whatnot. You've seen videos of puppies that are eaten by anacondas. So, what do you think about incels? I actually want to know your opinion on this. Oh. Go on. <laughs> yeah, I want to know your opinion on incels. You know what those are, right? Yeah, I know what incels are. Tell me about them. They need to be exterminated. But have you heard, like, them, uh... Pretty much them... (laughs) Saber, shut the fuck up before I send you back to Columbine. It's not your turn. I was going to say send him back to the Shadow Realm. (laughs) Nah. Shadow Realm's fake, by the way. You people in Yu-Gi-Oh! just fucking die. (laughs) Okay, well, you know what? Four Kids is iconic. Okay? Yeah, you know what also they made? The fucking One Piece rap, and I don't hear people seeing that anime cons. Go on. What the fuck? No, that one's iconic too. But anyway, uh, so you know about how in Canada there's a big incel thing, right? Like, there, apparently there's a bunch of uh, them up in Canada. Oh, yeah. And there's like fucking riots I've been hearing. Or like just a group of them being a fucking bunch of assholes. Uh, yep. So, what do you think about them patronizing that dude, Elliot Rogers? I don't even know who that is. Is that the... That's the guy who... It Was that the guy with the van? Mm, think... He's the guy who did the uh, YouTube videos where he'd, like, sit in his car and stuff and he'd talk about... Oh, that how guy! Girls that like him and all that. Yeah. Oh, God, no! No! They... That's a bad dad. They literally patronize him. And they also believe that, like, Guys, what if we just had our own, like, asylum place... Where women, where we would just have women to fuck all day. Oh my Oof. god, no, that's fucked. It's fucked. <laughs> but, you know. They need to be exterminated. Here's my solution for the problem. Why don't they all just fuck themselves? Oh shit, true. It's, there's no, I, you know, we live in a pretty uh, liberal society and there's no problem with being gay. Mm-hmm. And plus, if, if one of them puts a bag on the head, you know, a hole's a hole. <laughs> Right, Saber? A hole's a hole. <laughs> oh, I feel bad for laughing. Oh, 
<laughs> oh, see, uh, this guy Saber, uh, he knows a thing or two about holes. He dug one once and buried a, a pig. I don't know. That's that's something. <laughs> There's something I did find out. <clears throat> anyway, um, I found I found out who really gave the snowman the suck. Boston Saber or Todd Howard? It was Terumo. Fuck! I knew that that was fucking gay. Speaking of, all right. Yuri, thank you for your answer. Now it's time for Saber. Saber, you know Trumo pretty well. Is it that... Putting it, li putting it lightly. <laughs> pretty lightly, you know him pretty well. Is he really he's pretty, gay? He's he's pretty cursed. Is he? But is he a big gay, a large gay, or just a normal gay? Where is he on the gayometer? Or, or is, he a, is he a small gay? Yeah, is he a small gay? Yeah, he's a he's a small gay. Oh, I I didn't mean that. I meant like small as in small. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> he's definitely not a gayest gay. All right. Uh, I mean, when you got when you got Yuri in the same room as that guy, then everybody's small gay compared to her. <laughs> so, actually, that but I do want to uh, bank off of that. Saber, what is your history with Turmo? I want to know this. Uh, pretty much just the same with. Uh, you and Kisaragi, we all kind of just met on uh, the the cursed app. Ah, uh, yes, timeline one. The, what's the cursed app? Twitter? <laughs> no, do you remember? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if you. I'm no, I'm pretty sure you knew this. You know what Kit was, right? Oh no! All of us. I gotta explain some some lore now. All of us, or the four the four boys. Myself, Kisaragi, Saber, and Turmo, we all met on Kick. Or more specifically, we all met on iFunny. Yeah. Oh, no. I think it started with, uh, I met Turuma on there, and then, uh, I think, um... Then Kisaragi, Kisaragi found me in a hole. Yeah, Kis well, Kisaragi, Kisaragi interacted with, uh, Turumo and me, and then he, he dug you from the hole, um... Probably, probably not the same hole that I I buried a pig into, but um, that hole is still un is still left uh, uncovered. So who knows what's going on there? Yeah, <laughs> huh, I didn't actually. I, I I feel like I didn't know that. Maybe you, maybe you told me and I forgot, but I don't think I knew that. We yeah, most we don't mention the kick days often because, as we as we refer to as timeline one, uh, it's been destroyed. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. It's it's. Not just destroyed, but specifically devoured last by a year, cow. Last year, was like last year. Uh, let's just say that we tried to do a podcast before this that did not include you because this was pre. Uh, we met. This was before we met you. So we had a different girl, which we refer to as pretty much the prototype of you. So she's like the beta version of, you, of yourself, but she's not gay. She's a big straight, actually. So. So yeah, she's the beta, the not yeah. good version. The beta, and that that's double that's double sided. So, you know, Yeet. there's some big lore behind that one. We'll we'll get behind that later on. Uh, all right, Saber, is that all your history with Turmo, or do you have anything else to that's, tell us about the pig? That's I think that's about it. It other than the the occasional uh, the occasional memeing and cursed images. By the way, do you know when Turmo started referring to himself as a pig and why? No, I don't, and I wish he didn't. <laughs> I don't know. I think I don't even know how we brought that about. Like first, it was uh, no, <laughs> first it was like first it was the elephant thing, and then out of nowhere the pig thing came up, and then we kind of stuck with that. I remember the elephant thing was because. On an earlier podcast, when we had Tisaradi on for the first time, we kept mentioning the fact that his platoon was eaten by an elephant. And then Trumo came out and said, Guys, I have a confession. I was that elephant. And then that started the whole war. And I'm not sure when this happened, but he, then he started referring to himself as a pig. I, then, I, then I found out he's actually a shape-shifting reptile. And you thought, I was a shape-shifter around here. Yeah, I thought that was, I thought that was but until I started digging deeper, and I'm like, oh no, it was Truma all along. He gave the snowman the suck. Well, you know. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna transition suck into this. So, Yuri, I did some uh, digging into your 
history before joining Tavi Radio and us, and uh, I found out some history about yourself on from high school, and it turns out that your nickname used to be No Nut Nicholas. Uh, what's up with that? Oh man, I actually believed you for a second. <laughs> <laughs> seriously believed you. I was like, oh, I, I was so, I was scared. <laughs> you terrified. I was actually legitimately like frightened. I was like, oh my god, what information of me is out there that I don't know about? I don't know, I could have asked the B-movie, I could have asked B-movie 420, but, you know, I did I did some, my own digging around, my own detective work, you know. So, so it's playing your nickname here. Uh, used to be called No Nut Nicholas. What's going on? Hmm? Uh, well, I have no nuts. That's that's a fact. I have no nuts. Never have. Probably never will. <laughs> also, on my hand, I mean my notes, it says that uh, you used to be the designated twister back in the day. So, uh, what's going on <laughs> what there? Is what does that even mean? I don't know. It's in my notes. It's this is the research I did. Oh, uh, well, you I'm sorry, I can't confirm that research, because I haven't even fucking know what it means. You mean the, the smudged pen handwriting on your hand? <laughs> no, you mean the well, uh, cursed writing on this notepad I have. Not the smudged writing on my hand. That's my credit card information saver, which I don't even know anymore, because this thing, I, my, my palms are sweaty. Knees weak, mom spaghetti. Aw, oh, man, you guys didn't even laugh. Because <laughs> you fucked it up. I did not! I said knees weak, mom's spaghetti! Palm, palms are sweaty, knees weak, arms are heavy. Well, I'm on my sweater oh. already, mom's spaghetti. Oh my god, I actually hate you. God damn, yeah. Yuri. Alright. <laughs> Alright, right, that's, that's enough for you. You gotta, you gotta uh, be quiet in the corner for a little while. Alright, Saber, you're up again. It's fine by me. Alright, Saber. Um, so I did some digging around your INDB page. Try to see uh, your work before the Meal Boy series, and it says here that you were the director of a short film called, well, not short film, this is an hour long, a film called Hungry Bitches, or more likely known as Two Girls, One Cup. So tell me your history Wait, with that really one. Wait, it's really an hour long? No, it's like a couple of minutes long, right? No, no, no. The actual, okay, quick, quick little thing before Saber answers the question. So, the Two Girls, One Cup video is like a minute preview of the actual uh, porno. Which is called Hungry Bitches. Oh! And it is hour long. It is 62 minutes long. I just, I did this research uh, today because I'm a sick fuck. So, I had to look up Sa Saber's IMDP oh page. My God. So, Saber, explain. Why, how did you end up with a gig? Are you lucky? Do you think it's a stepping stone for yourself? Uh, what's the story here? I was in a mobile home with uh, $47 in my bank account. <laughs> More than me. Uh huh. Keep going. I bumped into a mentor, and then they brought me to another mentor, and then down the line, it suddenly spiraled into a mess. And yeah, you can say that again—a mess. Oh. I tried to get them to get my name off of it, but. It seems that wasn't the case. They did not listen. Well, to be fair, doing my own research, uh, the only reason I found out that it was you, because, first of all, why is, a, why is there a picture of Todd Howard on your IMDB page? Oh. Saber, you have some explaining to do. Yeah. Buy Skyrim on Switch. <laughs> no, you bitch! Anyway, uh... The only reason I found out was you because I had to look at the director's name, uh, whose uh, name was Thiago Fugandes, or most likely known as Boston the Saber. <laughs> is, is that the name of that Skyrim cat? That's like. No, like, no, I forgot what the fucking. Pants. No, uh, in reality, like, in reality, this was made in Brazil, so I'm not sure how Saber ended up in Brazil. You know. Well, along the way, I I also ended up with a bag on my head. Ah, that made sense. You became Faust from Guilty Gear. All right. So, uh, 
Anything that's else? part of why I. That's what part of why I couldn't realize what was being uh, made w until I finally took the bag off, and then uh, after that, I was just. But you're. Traumatized. But you're. But you're also. Uh... Also, oh, looking this up right now, because I had to double check information. What the fuck? Some white dude and some like some white dude edited this video named Smith David, also known as Saber the Nihilist. So, in reality, this whole movie was uh, directed by some. I forgot what fucking Saber was. I don't know. A rice farmer <laughs> was directed by a rice farmer. So, you know, what became of the snowman, though? I never encountered the snowman, at least not until not until after uh, the suck occurred. But eventually, in uh, in the remains of the snow, I found uh, what looked to be a pig nose. Oh well, that sounds like a tragedy. Anyway, uh, I'll let you sleep on that one for a little bit, Saber. Uh, Yuri, next question. Yep. So in my notes, it says that. You weren't always gay. In reality, that you were an alt-right farmer from Arkansas. What's going on there? Hmm? Is it not, not Arkansas? It's Ar <laughs> It's Arkansas. It's Arkansas. Ar um, Arkansas. Okay. <laughs> um. Hmm. No comment. All right, I guess we're, uh, we'll move on from that one. Sounds like a painful memory. All right, Saber, so I did a deep dive to your Twitter, and I found this tweet you once made, where it says, if you don't like the sequels, then you're some fucking anti-semi-alt-right piece of shit, and you belong in China. What's wrong with that tweet, Saber? What are you trying to say? The what? <laughs> <laughs> let, 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 me, let me repeat. I think, I think he said that... On a drug-filled rampage. I'm pretty sure that was... That I meant drug-fueled. Uh... I messed up. That ruined the joke. <laughs> Jet fuel rampage. That, okay, okay, that's the second part of the question. Why were you drinking jet fuel? Because I have to go fast. But, now, but now, now, back to the tweet. Why did you call everybody that doesn't like the... the uh, prequel trilogy, a bunch of anti-Semite alt-right uh, assholes that kill babies. Hmm? Wasn't the whole point of episode 3 to kill babies anyway? So it sounds pretty counterproductive to me. Are, Just... you, sure you're looking at, are you sure you're looking at the right account? <laughs> yes, yeah, it says Saber, yeah, it says Saber Nihilist here. <laughs> Sorry, it says uh, at, at Nil Sab. I don't know what that was. Oh, no, so so on, so I wrote my notes, man. I think uh, I got too remote to write my notes for me, to be honest. Sure. Yeah, uh, I'm pretty sure he just drunkenly wrote that because he's always drinking. So uh, that's not me. Because because I I actually I do actually like the prequels, and I know and I know that there are a lot of flaws to it, but they do. They actually do something. On a side note, do you think, uh, do you think Attack of the Clones is probably the worst of the movies, though, or do you prefer that over it's... Phantom Menace? Hand in hand, they're both kind of they both have bad qualities. But Phantom Menace brought us uh, Darth Maul, and Attack of the Clones brought us the Clone Wars. I mean, here's a th my problem with like Fa I I like Phantom Menace. More than Attack of the Clones, only the fact that Phantom Menace, despite the fact that it is a questionable movie to say the least, it at least is entertaining to watch through. Attack of the Clones kind of felt a little boring until the Dooku fight, which yeah. is pretty cool. And then the whole, like, kind of like, uh, Clone Trooper and, like, Droid fight going on. Got to see Mace Windu in there, you know? So. I've never yeah. watched Star Wars. My so my I don't fucking know what my two favorite movie. movies would be um, would be Revenge of the Sith and Empire Strikes Back. A New Hope is good, but I don't like Return of the Jedi. Even though uh, the Luke in that one was probably my favorite version of Luke, which is funny because uh, Return of the Jedi is probably my favorite. 
of the original trilogy, mostly because I do like the Ewok side story thing, and also it wraps up uh, the original trilogy pretty nicely. It's almost as yeah, if we it, didn't need The Force Awakens, which I yeah, will defend. It, it, it wrapped things up. I like The Force Awakens and what a lot of things it was going for. If you, just a few flaws here and there, but... <sighs> On the last side note, do you believe that... Uh, are you in the camp that where you believe that only Skywalkers are like powerful in the Force? Or do you also believe that anybody has the potential to be that the, to be the swole? Uh, I mean, that kind of de depends. I mean, because the Force flows through everything, but it can flow through more because of the whole midichlorian thing. And but that midichlorian wasn't like, canon oh. anymore. No, it was it was in the Phantom Menace. So no, I thought it was Is Rey like not a Skywalker? She isn't. Even though Force Awakens really wanted us to believe that she was going to be one, but then Ryan exactly. Johnson said "fuck you" and Todd Howard the whole situation. Just okay, because like... I didn't. I only watched The Force Awakens, and for some reason, all, I remember people saying that her and what's his face were cousins or something. You, you didn't and tell he... the story. Really wanted to point to that too. Um. Okay. Thank you for answering my question. Yeah. Anyway, uh, now I gotta ask you a question in return. Yay. So. Hit me. Where's the milk? Yeah. Where's the milk? It's in a bag. <laughs> WHO LEFT THE MILK in, OUT OF THE FRIDGE?! It's in the bag. I don't care if it was in the bag, it was a fucking pitcher! WHO DRANK THE MILK?! It was in the bag. <coughs> oh! <laughs> fucking Canadians. It's in the bag. But who left the milk out and let it, and let it to spoil? Who wanted to make that cheese? Were you working with the rats? Yeah, were you working with the rats? Yes. Those motherfuckers have been trying to get me. I laid down rat traps for those fucking assholes, and they leave those traps out for me again, but this time they put chicken nuggies on it, and I keep fucking following for it, so I want those goddamn nuggies! Are you working with the rats? <laughs> I can't even understand you. No. <laughs> are you or are you not working for the rats in the FBI? Yeah. Okay, that's all I wanted to know. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Saber, back to you. Yeah. Did you drink the milk? The only milk I've had is chocolate. But where's the syrup? Oh, actually, that leads into an interesting conversation. <laughs> do you like... Do you prefer the powdered chocolate milk mitts, or are you the old-fashioned buy the chocolate syrup and mix it with the milk? Uh, or are you a fucking, yeah. are you a true East Coast person, and drink YooHoo instead? Sarah, <laughs> or you buy the actual chocolate milk? Or do you buy YooHoo? The fuck is a YooHoo? Oh, you don't know YooHoo's? No. It's pure, It's a chocolate drink. I don't oh, get. I don't okay. get. I don't buy YooHoo's. But the the chocolate milk we get is actually already made. Because it comes from it comes from an actual farm where they, it comes from uh, healthy cows, brown cows, healthy chocolate cows. <laughs> no, they 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 mix the chocolate um, when they with the milk, but the the milk itself they get is from uh, well taken care of cows. All right, well that's that's pretty good, you know. Yeah, we we get it delivered to us. Speaking of cows, this is a question for both of you guys, but I want Yuri to answer this first, since she's more of the, you know, uh, of the whole, like, you know, pride nonsense stuff, you know. Uh, I, I guess I support her too, you know, whatever. You know, pride month, let's mm -hmm. go, baby. Anyway, so, Trumo, a pig, married a cow. How do you feel about interspecies marriage between a cow and a pig? Do you support it? Do you are against it? Do you like it? Do you hate it? 
Are we talking specifically a cow and a pig, or is this going to, like, affect my answer where it's like, oh, do you support humans and monkeys? I'm going to cut this part out of the podcast because I need to catch you up on things. So, on Sat AM, um, there's this joke I keep having where Turmo and this cosplayer, because Turmo doesn't like this cosplayer named uh, Mariah, who is Momokun. Oh Why do you guys have so many personal beefs? Uh, just, I'm a fucking, you know... Oh, oh, beef? Okay. Fuck you, fuck you, Saber. Anyway, um, so, because Turmo hates this toss player, I te- and she refers to herself as Muraya, as a cow, that's like her meme mm-hmm. thing, and just Turmo's a pig, and he hates her, I'm like, that's Turmo's wife right there, that's the joke I keep making, that's Turmo's wife. Oh, so, okay. when I say Turmo married a cow, I'm referring to her, so... Anyway, uh, okay. I'll cut that part out just so, just so, uh... King Crimson. Yeah, King, I'm gonna King Crimson this part out. Anyway, so Yuri, do you support interspecies marriage? Do you think that cow and a pig can love each other and be happy sure. with each other? Yeah. What about you, Saber? Do you support it? Fuck. They're gonna fuck. It's Trumo. Oh, Come on. No. Oh no. He's a pig. He's already gonna go dirty. Oof. Also, come on, Tumo's at the set drive of like of those old guys from the Lemon Party image, so. That's I don't know what that is. I don't want to know. Oh. <laughs> you, you poor unfortunate soul. No, no, you're lucky. <laughs> if you don't know what Lemon Party is, you're. I tr- mean, I, I I I vaguely remember it was like a porn thing. Yeah, I'll just give, I'll just give you the quick rundown. Uh, three gay old men are pretty much, uh, trying to have, are just having some fun. Uh, but anyway, yeah, Trumo's up the set. Yeah, I remember that, unfortunately. Trumo's up the set drive of those guys. So, do you, would you support the fact that they might have some sort of cow-pig hybrid child? Hmm. Are you, who's uncle abortion, who's anti-abortion, hmm? Hmm? Pro choice. Pro choice, no choice. Free the pig, free the pig, or kill the cow, or kill the cow, or kill the pig, free the cow. Hmm. What does this even mean anymore? Cool ranch or ranch Doritos? Answer my question. They both sound kind of cool ranch. (laughs) My my friend. Had this cousin who was like drunk and like, or she was drunk and high or something. And um, I guess her like boyfriend was asking her, it's like, what, it's like, uh, oh, what kind of Doritos you want? She just snaps her fingers and goes, cool ranch. <laughs> so every time at, at lunch, I would get a bag of cool ranch, he'd just go, cool ranch. Oh my god, that's adorable. Nacho or spicy nacho? But, uh, spicy nacho. Because nachos taste kind of nasty, but if they're spicy, then they probably don't taste as nasty. Alright, that's all I want to hear. So, Saber, do you support this interspecies marriage between Turmo and a cow? I mean, it's better that it's this cow and not another. Shut the fuck up. We're not explaining that story. That's <laughs> that's hidden deep in the, within the archives. And yeah. And it's, it's, it's locked. Yeah, yeah. That's so, a... Uh... As John Tron, when he was on the HB podcast, when Ethan tried to ask him questions about that interview. Nah, Ethan, I don't want to talk about it. Saber, I don't want to talk about it. But moving on to a Saber question. What is the ultimate gamer feel for you? I've heard you quote on Twitter saying that, you know, you like Hot Pockets. I heard you sometimes say you like a good old hot dog. Uh, What's going on here? Do you like putting hot dogs in your Hot Pockets? Do you put your hot dog in a Hot Pocket? Which hot? I don't, do I don't like hot. I don't like hot. I don't like hot dogs. What the oh, fuck? Feelings. Solidarity, saber. I don't like them either. No! <laughs> what the fuck? You've all Demi-sons. betrayed me. Hot dogs are nasty. Not sorry. I eat brats, not hot dogs. Oh, that's fair. All right. No. Like, cause plain, plain hot dogs are so nasty. But if you know, if they're like seasoned and stuff like that, or if, like, or if it's a brat with like little bits of cheddar in it. You... Yeah, like they're they're bearable, but like just your plain 
old American hot dog is just disgusting. A, do you like a like a Polish like sausage or like a Polish kielbasa maybe? Uh, yeah, those are. Yeah. Those, oh fuck! Are... I love kielbasa. Yeah. Oh, the the other night we had some um, mac and cheese and uh, Polish sausage. Also, is this also, turn into... kielbasa or kielbasa? Kielbasa. All right, there we go. Of course, Yuri would know. She's the fucking Eastern European one. Well, mm. yeah, my dad's Polish. <laughs> that that goes into my own. That goes into the next question for you. So you're Polish. Uh, mm-hmm. What do you know about the Holocaust? Fake? Not oh, fake. Oh no! Nope, nope, nope. We're not going there. <laughs> we're going there, <laughs> whether you like it or not. Tell me about the Holocaust. Like how- Tell me about what happened in Warsaw. It's <clears throat> Warsaw, by the she, way. What happened in Warsaw? Huh? Hmm. What happened? She, I don't. I don't actually know. She I, was the, I don't, she was the I don't leader, know enough. She was the leader of the Polish resist- no! resistance. No. 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 She led the resistance. No, you're. He's saying that you led the resistance. Oh, I thought he was gonna say I was a part of the. No, you. No, you don't look. No, you don't look like you could be an SS. Uh, soldier. I don't even think they would allow women anyway. So, probably not. Wouldn't be, I would have Gestapo. Although, although your brother on the ha- other hand, for people who don't know, Yuri's not a fucking dickhead brother. <laughs> um, <laughs> not he, the whole world knows. Uh, he don't, he's not gonna fucking find this. True. He's fucking. <laughs> He, the last image you showed of me, which was a couple of months back, he looks like the fucking main villain of Far Cry 5. <laughs> All he's missing, if his hair was black, and he was wearing orange sunglasses, by the way, that'll lead into my next question, and he was wearing, like, orange sunglasses, then he would be the fucking main villain of Far Cry 5. He looks like he could be a fucking, uh, Gestapo. Oh no, that's the bad bad. Yeah. But anyway... Uh, on to my next question, because this is for Saber. Yeah, Yuri, you can, you can dive in on this one, too. Yeah. Saber, you play games. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Have you noticed that there's been this weird trend of villain characters wearing orange-tinted sunglasses that are evil? I mean... I that's I, actually a thing. I, huh. like, give some other examples. Uh, I don't actually know a single one. Okay, so. the Far Cry Five villain who's on the cover art. So if you want to look that up quickly, just Google it. Um, Will do. The main villain of Persona Five, the fucking uh, bitch ass, Mister Mister Worldwide. Oh my God! Yeah, he is wearing more than sunglasses. Yeah, Mister Worldwide, and then you got Jake Paul, who's the villain of Ooh. Fortnite, and he wears orange sunglasses in his vlog. So. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Wow. Oh my god. So the Far Cry 5 villain is wearing orange sunglasses. But they're totally different from the one from Persona 5. Yeah, but they're still orange tinted. But that's so... <sighs> and then you, and if you Google any picture of Jake Paul, he's also wearing that. So Saber, do you think this is a new trend? Or what's going on here? What do you think? What's your hot take? Jake Paul's starting something. He's trying to start his uh, world domination. <laughs> Everyone is using that to uh it, they're using it to represent villains now because of Jake Paul. So, my next question, it goes to either one of you, but whoever speaks first and answer it, the other person has to shut their mouth. Um make me. Actually no. Now, this question you can both answer this, I don't care. Saber, are you a man mm-hmm. of the hidden hot dog technique? Or do you prefer, like, say, do you prefer Tisaraji's favorite accoutrement, boy pussy? Uh, what? <laughs> I feel like this is a genuine answer that's gonna come from him. You know, do you prefer when do you prefer women who know the hidden hot dog technique, or do you prefer uh, Tisaraji's favorite accoutrement for his sandwiches, boy pussy? I won't repeat the question one more time, and if I have to, I'm gonna make Yuri do it. Yeah, give us an answer. I don't want to talk about it. You have to talk about it. Yuri, go ahead. No. Hidden hot dog. Boom. See, at least Yuri will answer it. Saber, we're in a safe environment, okay? 
This the, the boat we're on going to Argentina is a very safe environment. Lightning Jones is uh, the captain of this ship, so it's a very safe environment. You know, you can answer it honestly. And as you long can't... as he doesn't smell any in blood. Yeah, he's fine. By the way, you cannot say neither or both, one or the other. Beasts all over the shop. Saber. Uh, the hidden hot dog or the boy pussy. I swear, you're going to use this against me somehow. I'll just say the hidden hot dog. All right, fair enough. It's that's that's actually the majority vote. Tisaraji's a very uh, weirdo. He's a fucking weirdo then, because he does not. He's not a big fan of the hidden hot dog technique. So. You know. Such a weird question. What do you mean it's a weird question? That's what the notes say. The notes at told me to ask Saber about uh, hidden hot dogs. You know, we talked about bratwurst and uh, Tobasa, so I feel like this is like the trilogy of that. Don't let Tarumo write your notes again. <laughs> In retrospect, he said, I asked Tarumo to write my notes, but he actually sent over some pid he had. And I had him write the notes. I believe his name was George Foreman or something. I don't know. Turmo's, Turmo's uh, people and his pids are named after, like, TV chefs or personalities. Like, one of them is named after uh, Doody Hauser, I think. So. Which leads to my next question for Yuri. Um, favorite live-action live adaptation of Seuss films? Your favorite one? Ten the Hat or How the Grinch Stole Christmas? Oh, How the Grinch Stole Christmas. That one was good. Would you be willing to star? Would you really, would you be willing to star in a bootleg version I'm directing called How the Grimp Stole Easter? Sure. Can I play the what was her name? Mary Sue. <laughs> no. S uh, Sydney. Sydney Lou Who. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. 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 You're you have to, no. You're you have to be the Grimp. Turmo's playing. Uh, Turmo's playing. Uh, that's fine by me. <laughs> you, you gotta be in the. You gotta be in the same suit Jim. Jim Carrey wore, and we haven't washed it so. <laughs> Jim Carrey? He was the Grinch. But no, it wasn't Jim Carrey. Yes, it, it was. was. Yes, no. it was. Mike yes, it Myers was. was the cat. Mike Myers was the cat in the oh, hat. Oh shit! You're right. You're right. <laughs> Which leads to my next question for Saber. What is your favorite Mike Myers role? Are you a big fan of Shrek? His work as the cat. His work uh, in fucking Wayne's World, uh, Austin Powers. What do you like? I was I was gonna say Austin Powers. Oh, really? so you prefer? Wow. You thought yeah, you think you knew a guy. Hmm. Ah, actually... Austin Powers is good, but I like unironically like Shrek. <laughs> so no, I'm saying that which is shame. Which is I think Shrek, Shrek Two was my favorite. Same. Yeah, Shrek same. Two was good. The I rewatched it a little while ago. The scene that I always remember is when Shrek is storming the castle with the fucking with Mondro, the big uh, cookie, and you just see and just uh, and I need a hero's playing. That is literally my favorite scene throughout the whole movie. It's no, your that's your favorite scene in all of cinema. Yeah, you're right. Uh, I like a lot of scenes. Like when are you when are you gonna recreate that scene in Meal Boy? When fucking people actually want to do it, and I'm not had to, well, I'm not stuck filming in a fucking park for goddamn once because none of my friends want to film this stupid shit with me. I keep telling them, like, "Come on, a mule boy, you know, come on, a mule boy. We'll eat something, and I'll fucking push you down a cliff or something, you know." And I'll say like, "Oops, he died," you know. The world of credit saver, you know. Cut the cameras, but this no. One... Sounds like a call for <laughs> a call for help. <laughs> I think instead of needing a hero, I think you need more friends. Aww. That's why I have Thank you me. guys. Hey. I realize that, some, that my only friends are a big gay, a pig, a cuckold. There's nothing wrong with big gays. No, there isn't. You know, it's Pride Month, guys. We can't be bigots all the time. Yeah, my birthday was on Pride. It was on the Pride Parade last year, so suck it. You know. Hey, but my birthday's still closer than Zomi's. And she's the big gay. Who? Nozomi. Oh, shit. You're right. You know. 
Speaking of, all right. So, who the fuck did I ask? Oh yeah, say no. Who the fuck? Uh, who answered the question last? Oh yeah, Saber. I, I did. All right. So this question comes from Turmo himself for Yuri. Turmo mm-hmm. at Turmo asked, "Dear Yuri, can you please just grill me on the barbecue and eat me? I'll bring the barbecue sauce as well to go with my with go with your meal." P.S. I'm sub- P.S. I'll even bring my own. Uh, rub down as well. Your friend, Terumo. I can't read. Suddenly, I'm vegetarian. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right, Saber. This last question goes for you. This one's from Terumo. Dear Saber, Terumo, uh, Saber, please eat me. I'll bring the barbecue sauce. Love, Terumo. Oh, he's so gay. <laughs> I'm not going to give him the satisfaction and eat him. You and no, actually no, we should give him to Lycan. I'm sure I'm sure he's in need of a of a a beast. No, not even Lycan wants to eat him. He said instead of uh, instead of uh, asking me asking people to eat you, you should feed yourself and earn your <laughs> oats and f- own your oats instead for once you fucking pig. <laughs> no, not even Lycan wants to eat Trumo. By the way, maybe, that, by maybe way, that's my... common misconception. It was not Lycan who blew down those houses of those three pigs. He respects animals, cause he himself is one. He was not the guy who ate that girl's grandma either. The guy. Fucking the, the little, little red, fucking little Red Riding Hood. I know. Lycan, jo- Lycan Jones. He's about. he's a fucking wolf. Yeah. yeah. That's it's. I think that's also why he. That's probably why Peter Gigantis' spirit still roams the sewers instead of passing on. Yeah, I mean, so because much... on our way on our way to to talking with Lycan Jones on the new set, we pass by the sewers with Gigantis. With Gigantis Peter. <laughs> All right, so that's goes into my next question for Saber. Saber, how much of the Trumo and Peter Gigantis lore do you know? And please tell everybody at home, including Yuri, so she. The, so she's probably not as confused right now. Uh, I'm still looking into any more any more facts that uh, might might have slipped, but so far I found out about the the four hour war and four hour war <laughs> and Peter Jenkins being condemned to the sewers with his uh, his followers of birds and rats. Sounds fun. For people who at home who don't know who Peter was, that is the brother of Terumo, who was the original uh, tribe leader of the Pids, and then Terumo he was, got jealous. He was also he was also the biggest, literally the biggest. He, no one has been able to break his record for the biggest pig alive or dead, for that matter. Even though right now it's very up in the air whether or not Peter is a dead or alive, or if he is immortal in reality. Which goes into my next question. Yuri, is it true that you yeah, are... More, more transition words! What? Have you ever written an essay in your fucking life? Shut the fuck up, I'm an English major. Binch. <laughs> <sighs> to be fair, this was written by a fucking pig who couldn't read. So, I'm just trying to translate... This pig Latin, he, uh, they wrote. I don't know if it was a he or she, I didn't check. This, they wrote, okay? I'm trying to be PC here, guys. I'm not gonna gender this pig, because I don't know personally. I don't know what their life is all about. So, I didn't ask questions. I just saw a pig, and I thought it was Turumo, and then I found out it wasn't. So. Turumo should have sent the intellect. Just sent the, sent the pig with glasses. I'm pretty sure you, it would have been a lot more legible. I don't know. Right now, I'm, I'm just try- I'm just typing into my computer the translation that this pig wrote in pig Latin. Speaking of, um, Yuri, is it true that you are a vampire? Yes. I'm like Twilight. <laughs> You're. F- oh fuck. You. Oh come on! Did fuck. You really not get that? Did you no, I. Get no, I get it. I I fucking get it. So I. I and then where's it from? 
I thought you. I thought you were only calling yourself a Twilight vampire because you're gay and Twilight vampires sparkle in the sun. No, that wasn't what we do in the shadows reference. Everyone out there, I don't. Whoever's listening to this, go watch what you do. What we do in the shadows is on Netflix. It's so good. Oh, I watched that. It's so good. <laughs> Nick, that makes a lot you, more you know, sense. You know, I'm a vampire. Oh, what? Yeah, you know, like Twilight. I'm, I'm, I'm Twilight. <laughs> well, to, okay. Well, now that, now that you said that. Well, to be fair, I've been watching uh, Greek translated TV shows for the past month, so you know, I don't have Nef. We didn't have Netflix down. Down in the Turkish. That probably that probably explains uh, Yuri's odd sleep schedules too. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Fucking real talk to people out there. This motherfucker is up at like 3 a.m. her time, or like even 4 a.m. While I'm up at like one, because time differences. I'm like, what are you doing up? What's going on around here? Hmm. I'm usually watching Netflix for drawings. <laughs> Which That's the truth. I mean, yeah. Or sucking someone's blood. Which goes into my next question for Saber. Saber. Yes. Do you know the secret of suck? Or are you still the holder of the tragedy of thick? I've, ke- I'm, I've kept the tragedy of thick a secret. But I am trying to decode the secret of suck. So you have the scripture of it. Yes. And who wrote it? Who is the Peter Gigantis wrote it? Then why did it... then how did you get it from Terumo? Because he stole it from him when he tried to fight him in the war. So what is the language in? Not even not even Pig Latin. It's very decrypted. I have to actually translate it through multiple languages. When you say that, I'm imagining you at your fucking cardboard desk, uh, having like an e- a fucking Russian to English uh, dictionary, and then English to Spanish dictionary, <laughs> and then eventually, you have a sp- <laughs> Spanish to French eventually, dictionary. <laughs> eventually, it got to the point where it was Daedric rooms from from Elder Scrolls, and it's just. Is that a Styron reference I smell? Yes. He literally said Elder Scrolls. 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 Which goes to my next question. Yuri. Cat girls or squirrel girls? Cat girls. <laughs> I know exactly why he asked that, and I'm not giving him that satisfaction. I also just like cat girls more. Give me satisfaction! <laughs> <laughs> You're turning him into a gorilla. Aww. Now he's gonna want the banana. Aww, the banana. The no. banana. No, it's just the banana. 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 Get banana. No, I'm not turning into that fucking pig. All right. Uh, all right. You know, keep cool. <laughs> Did you break your desk? No. This desk is made of the same thing I was made out of that door. <laughs> This is the vibranium desk. <laughs> just, I just see cat girls and then <laughs> fucking cat girls. God damn it! Why is there no love for squirrels? <laughs> Why don't you love squirrels? Because cat girls are cuter. Who hurts you? No one. <sighs> Myself. Alright, Saber. Cowgirls or Indians? Oh, I thought when you said cowgirls, I thought you meant like cat girls or squirrel girls, but like cowgirls. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> Saber, do you believe in the Emancipation Proclamation of 1978? What are you doing to me? It says here, I have the real Declaration of Independence here, and your signature's on it. Uh. 
Uh, How many Indians did you make walk the Trail of Tears? You mean natives? You bigoted fuck? I thought you were trying to be PC here. How many times did you get suck in the Revolutionary War? Well, I wasn't the one doing the sucking. That's why I said get suck, not give suck. This is before, this is the pre-Gay Saber days. There is no Gay Saber. Yeah, there is. You sure about that? Yeah, I made sure of that personally. <laughs> Their blood is on my hands. Yuri. Yeet. I need you to use your gay abilities and give Saber the gay test. You need me to use my gaydar? Yeah, your gaydar. Okay. No, you. <laughs> what are the results? Saber, I diagnose you with dead. I diagnose you. What do you have to say for yourself on behalf of the court and Barack Obama? See y'all in hell. Okay. Yuri, I got a question for you. Yeet! I did a deep dive to your Twitter. Oh, did you? Uh-huh. I found mm -hmm. a very questionable tweet. You said, Whoever likes hot Cheetos are fucking anti-Semites and belong to the Ku Klux Klan. I never said that. Why would you say <laughs> something it's like true. that? true. Cheetos so suck. <laughs> you want to talk fucking Canada and their processed cheese, am I right? Why does he do that? <laughs> so, speaking of Saber, what are your thoughts on the Cambodian genocide? I hate communism. Yuri, what are your thoughts on communism? I love communism. Saber, are you a communist? No. Saber, are you a furry? No. Do you have some whack ass fetish you want to talk about? No. You already got a secret fetish that no one wants to know about? Sure. You want to, you want to tell the class? Uh, nope. <laughs> I don't want no one to know it for a reason. You guys believe in God? No. No. You guys got... You guys don't a family member that's diagnosed with swamp ass? Yeah. If you donate to my Patreon, I can cure them. I think it's you can't cure it. No, it's called fucking cornstarch. Why would you stick cornstarch up your ass? Not up your ass, at least like on your cheats, you know? Like, I could take a whole pinky, but not a whole dick or something, you know? Just cornstarch, whatever. I can take a pinky, why not? <laughs> Which goes into uh, and that's the question. Did you guys have a My Little Pony phase? Nope. No. Thank fucking god. Did you guys have a... Have like a giant weeaboo phase? Oh, uh, yep. <laughs> you got any like really bad stories from that? Because I actually want to hear this. Uh... 
I will uh, say uh, hmm. no I didn't have any particularly bad stories I was really bad and it was really bad and like don't get me wrong I did have bad moments I don't think there was anything that was so bad that I'm like I never want to face anyone again not, nothing I can think of anyways no nothing that extreme I just think probably just just the anime club I went to back in Pennsylvania but I think it's about it but that kind of spawned other things and also somewhat uh, helped me with depression for a bit so in some ways it's, it was it was good and bad oh that's good which I mean it it, it, it kind of kick started um, me wanting to do certain things like uh, like voice acting and editing. I mean, but, uh, we... I actually got to hear that. But I also, yeah. I also actually want to talk about because sometimes you talk, you don't to detail about this. Sometimes, like I don't want to talk about it. What what's going? What happened to your bridging friends that like you met before, uh, before this group of uh, fucking weirdos? What happened to your first group of weirdos? Uh, I get, we just kind of, you know, graduated and split off. I mean, I kind of left early because I chose to finish school out here in Colorado because I had the chance to, and it kind of, I mean, it, it already kind of things started to not really fall apart, but just kind of started to drift away a little bit. Like, uh, Literally, like the guy that kind of that that was like, like, hey, let's uh, you know, let's get together and abridge this this uh, anime here, and uh, you know, and we we got together. Uh, he he specifically uh, had me uh, help him write uh, write the script for a bunch of episodes. Um, so and uh, so a bunch of jokes and stuff were some of them were uh, my own idea, but you know we got a bunch of people together and uh made some episodes using the uh the OVA of of Black Ark Shooter and that's I here's here's a weird thing about that Kisaragi was actually watching that stuff before even knowing who I was weird and so when I eventually down the line like brought that up um he then told me that he he was he used to watch that stuff and he was like, he was actually waiting for our next episodes that we were in the middle of before everything just stopped. Uh, but yeah, and things did stop eventually, mostly because the guy that brought us together uh, got into some trouble on his own with the, some of the stuff he was doing. And so he kind of just uh, removed himself from all so social media, or at least just became completely inactive and... You think he'll ever because, come back? I don't know. I don't really know, but because of because of that, he had the login and stuff to the account, which I did suggest that to give to me in case that you know if I I would be able to try to take care of things or something like that. And he he never got around to to doing that. So, do you think he's secretly still around, just as like under a different persona? Uh, he could. But I think he's just. Or I think he's I just mean, like he, on his own at this point, just kind of like. He 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 actually built up his own fan base because he actually did uh, a lot of Vocaloid stuff. He'd actually animate uh, music videos um, for uh, Vocaloid songs and stuff. Uh, so what, did he do like the MMD stuff or what? Yeah, uh, but he, cool. he he knew he knew all kinds of stuff to actually make them look really good. Like he. He worked. He worked pretty hard on that stuff, and but I guess something. I guess he was cl involved or claiming to be involved with the creation of a new vocal aid or something like that. But I think we went down the line that uh, it turns out that uh, Yamaha never uh, planned on making uh, such a thing um, with him. So I, I guess like that kind of got exposed, and uh, a lot of the fans he built up kind of like saw him as just kind of like a as like just as a liar and a lot of them just kind of left him and so he just he he quit everything 
Yeah. And it was really, and that was like around the time just before like I last saw him because he and he and I were actually planning on doing some more projects uh, with our bridging stuff, and I had just come back from a from a vacation, and you know I was eager for that, and then he just disappeared. Oh damn. Yeah. I feel like I kind of relate to this guy because there's a lot of projects that I like. I've kind of abandoned. For example, before uh, the current channel, I used to be part of like I think you guys know this. I used to be part of like another of like a gaming channel that was run by like Blazing Beats and I, or Beats Eats as you guys know him by. Mm-hmm. And that fell out because he had the login stuff, and then I'm like, hey man, let's actually put out some content because I wanted to, and then. We're planning stuff out, and then for like a whole day, he didn't message us, and or like message like any of us that were gonna be in that group. And then he's like, "Guys, it's so stressful." He's like, "Fuck you guys," and whatnot. I'm like, "What do you mean it's so stressful? We got like fucking three subs, and we're just trying to make content out there. What do you mean it's stressful? We're making fucking Minecraft let's plays, you d- you dim shit." So, in reality, like he's pretty much like, "Well, you know." I guess you're, uh... Because I was the one more vocal about it than anybody else. And again, this... It, the This situation mirrors... The situation that happened in Universe 1... Between the group that you started. Where, pretty much, I'm like... Guys, let's do this! And then, when it all backfires, everybody's fucking... Uh... Julius Caesar and me by stabbing me in the back, and then... Or, at this point, sending me to Atsiled. You know... <laughs> What about you, Yuri? What about you, Yuri? You got any stories like that? Where people abandon me? More like exiled, you know. Mm, in elementary school, sure. <laughs> Dude, fuck no, Dude, not past that. I mean, not not beyond that time, no. Kids are brutal, man. I agree. It's funny how a lot of the bullying comes. In elementary school, and then as you go through middle school and high school, it fucking it like starts to wane. By the time like, by the time you like you're in high school, like maybe second year or something, it just like it doesn't fucking exist at that point. Like there's none of it still going on. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, with high school, that all that stuff kind of there's just stopped, and I was I was just known as oh yeah, he's just that weird guy who has a few friends. Not really, not really the quiet kid in class, but you weren't the one with the know. Ninja Turtle backpack. No, did you? Know I that? was the one with the Ninja Turtle backpack. Oh, I didn't actually have a Ninja Turtle backpack. You did or didn't? I didn't. Oh, I wish I did. Oh, uh, but no. middle school is actually where I actually faced a lot of of bullying. Be, um, to where I actually wanted to leave leave the state and go, you know. Back to back to where I was, um, and because it never got, it never uh, got around. Uh, by the time I started high school, I was severely depressed. Uh, middle yeah, school. I was, a lot too. I was actually fucking bullied a lot in in like elementary school by uh, either I was bu- I was bullied by my fellow Hispanic kids who fucking just didn't like me for some reason. I don't know what I ever did to them or said to them, but they just fucking immediately didn't like me. And, like, I mean, some people would say, like, oh, but you were the fat kid in middle school, on, like, elementary school. I'm like, yeah, but at the same time, the kids bullying me, like, fucking three of them were, like, fucking bigger than me. One of them looked like they could eat me and still be hungry. <laughs> fat fuck. He has diabetes now, but, you know. <sighs> the cleric beast really let himself go. <laughs> the skinwalker? <laughs> no, but yeah, I do. Uh, no, I do. I do get you guys. Which goes to my next question. Uh, Yuri, Trumo says you're the Skinwalker terrorizing his reservation. Is that true? No, I would never. All right, just want to clear that air. Um, I gotta fucking leave this on. Like, I pause. fight for natives' rights. All right. Actually, that's. Oh, that's a pretty good message to leave it on. Fight for rights. Like Hulk Hogan. It's a... Don't... Not Hulk Hogan, because he's racist. Freedom comes when you 